what's good my lovelies and welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing aquarius's love reading from july 15th to the end of the month if you're looking for a private reading my information will be in the description box if you want to follow me on instagram i do tarot readings over there too you'll find me at lovely soul empress uh, it, as well, I'm running a contest from now to the end of the month. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and comment to any one of my videos. You'll be automatically entered. You could win a Celtic uh, spread private reading with me with a question of your choosing. I will comment under the winner August 1st. They will have 48 hours to contact me or I will move on to the next person. As I said, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as for the Cross Watcher. If you're dealing with Aquarius or someone who has that important placement, you guys tied for first this week, which is why I'm doing your reading today. Um, while I was, uh, cause I always pray, shuffle, meditate, and smudge the decks. Uh, while I was, uh, pre-shuffling your cards i got um heavy two of cups energy kept seeing that so i feel like you are um trying to i didn't feel like it was actually two people but two ideas so maybe for some of you it'll be two people but i feel like uh, more so it's two ideas and i got the uh you are so beautiful card to me and then i got the um romantic feelings and release your ex card. So I feel like if you have not yet, you will be soon um, contacted by another person. And this person, you're gonna have a, a strong uh, drawing to them and you may have to release your ex. Um, and that is probably uh, the indecision as to what to do, okay? Um, I'm going to clear the energy. If you want to clear your energy as well, all you have to do is take a deep breath and close your eyes and let's begin. Thank you, Spirit. So if you've watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers. So if you want to fast forward to all the cards are out, that's fine. Spirit, can you show me what you have for my Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Spirit. Aquarius. For their highest good, July 15th to the end of the month, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three more, Spirit. Two more, Spirit. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. July 15th to the end of the month. One more, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles. So Aquarius, you have the Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. At the heart of the matter, you have the Four of Swords. Your partner has the Hierophant with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords with the Ten of Cups in the final position. The overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. We are going to jump right in. I already see... Um, the wheel of fortune came out okay so let's let's move forward spirit why does aquarius have the two of swords spirit why does aquarius have the two of swords so uh the two of swords talks about indecision needing to make a decision not being able to see something having your eyes covered with the veil okay and you might be ignoring something that intuitively you kind of feel um, you might have blocked somebody or um, had harsh words with somebody and now uh, the communication is not really there. They could be spying on you or you could be spying on them. 
Then that's being clarified with, um, cause that was the page of swords. Um, that's being clarified with the Knight of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, and Sag energy. This knight is a passionate knight. He goes after what he wants. He knows how to get it, okay? But sometimes his passions uh, change with the wind and he sometimes comes in and out, okay? And then that is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. So it's been hard work, this connection with this knight, okay? And maybe that's what you're unsure about if you want to continue. Spirit, eight, uh, um, the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for my Aquarius gang? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aquarius? So the Wheel of Fortune can represent Aquarius. It can represent all of the 12 signs. But Aquarius is one of the signs that's actually on the card. Okay, so this could be you. But this is saying that... Um, don't mind me because my nose always itches when I start um, channeling. So when the uh, Wheel of Fortune appears, the wheel is going to turn. Now, I could turn in your favor or against, but I feel like this is turning in your favor because this Knight of Wands was deceptive with this Seven of Swords. And so now um, the wheel is turning in your favor uh, because this person brought heartbreak to you with the Three of Swords. And this put you in the hangman position where you were trying to go within and get a new perspective. You felt stuck. But here comes a new love offer with this page of cups. Spirit. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for my Aquarius gang? Yeah, because um, you're trying to build this um, abundance. The Ten of Pentacles is the community of generational wealth and abundance card, right? Sorry. Excuse me. Um, so that's being clarified with death, which is Scorpio. So um, you could be dealing with Scorpio, but I feel like uh, because this page of cups can also represent Scorpio. So maybe this is the person who's coming into you. This person is uh, undergoing a transformation and you probably are going, uh, going through a transformation too after coming out of this hangman position spirit. Ten of Pentacles with the death card for my Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles with the death card for Aquarius gang. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why, spirit? Yeah, because um, you um, got passionate messages, or you're about to, in regarding to a new love, a transformation. Now, maybe this person is undergoing a transformation, but I really feel like two separate energies. Like um, you had an uh, issue with this Knight of Wands. You guys had a falling out. This person is spying on you. You went into a hangman position because it hurt you. Now you're trying to concentrate probably on your career and your finances and building your own generational wealth. This has put you in transition mode. Other people see it. Now you're receiving um, offers. And um, one of them is a serious offer. Spirit, why is the Four of Swords here? at the heart of the matter. So the Four of Swords talks about rest, rejuvenation, and healing, okay? Now for some of you, the Four of Swords with the Death card here could actually mean, and the Ten of Cups, you know, don't wanna be the bearer of bad news, but somebody could have passed, you could have received an inheritance, okay? And the Chariot, so you could be physically moving, or, or it could be that your partner also may have received um, some news and they're moving because of this or traveling, traveling in regards to this, okay? Spirit, the four of swords with the chariot. So it talks about, um, the chariot is talking about movement, okay? And uh, the Seven of Wands, so standing your ground in competition, right? And the Five of Wands, again, standing your ground in competition. So this person or both of you are trying to rest and heal. They may have also come out of a diff difficult situation. 
and um, you both are in rest and healing mode and uh, the universe is bringing you guys into each other's vicinity because I feel like this is a new energy maybe so you guys can rest and heal together but there's going to be some opposition because I feel like both of you have people in your surroundings maybe they have an ex and you have one too um and there's going to be some um competition spirit why does aquarius have the hair why does aquarius's partner have the hair font spirit why does aquarius's partner have the hair font sun moon rising and venus okay so the hair font is taurus okay but this is also uh like a ceo of an organization or religious organization could be a pastor or preacher someone who's very uh spiritual um this person has a lot of wisdom so like i said uh this person has the six of pentacles here so they want to come into you um being very balanced um they probably know that your last situation was not balanced and probably their last situation wasn't balanced either. That's what they're looking for in this situation. Spirit, why is the Knight of Wands here for my Aquarius gang? So the Knight of Wands is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I told you this Knight of Wands is uh, most likely your past person okay and this person you're their wish fulfillment but here's the king of swords this is you um gemini libra and aquarius uh you're trying to cut them down or you're trying to make a head over heart decision because at one time this was your wish fulfillment too And now, okay, so that's being clarified by the King of Pentacles. So you don't want a knight anymore. You want a king. The King of Pentacles is a very stable king. He is Aries, Leo, and uh, no, he is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. He is the most reliable of the kings. Uh, he is a CEO, uh, an independent contractor, a business owner um a manager someone with authority sometimes controlling but what you you're looking for some more st stable and that's your wish fulfillment and so you're trying to hold back from this person spirit why is the six of swords with the ten of cups here for aquarius's partner spirit so they would like to move to calmer waters with you with the Six of Swords. They want to put all this stuff behind them. Uh, they feel like you could be their happy life, happy wife, happy family card, temperance. So this is being guided by the universe. Okay, this is in divine timing. But there's still some unknown things. It may be um, their situation that they have from the past or yours. Maybe they feel like they don't know enough about your situation, but um, the Eight of Swords is here. So they're stuck in their heads right now about how this is going to play out. Okay, the Six of Cups, this is talking about nostalgia and um, reconciliation. So they might feel a little bit like, um, like you might return to this other person and they would like to move to calmer waters with you. And that's being clarified by the sun, which is Leo. Okay, so they feel like um, you could bring the clarity and happiness and abundance. And they're just hoping that you don't return to your ex. And I did tell you in the beginning that I saw two of um, pentacles that I felt that there was some energy where you were trying to make a decision. Spirit. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here as the overall energy spirit? Justice. So the Ace of Pentacles talks about the seed for abundance. I told you you have the Ten of Pentacles here. So um, this is maybe slow moving. You felt like you've been having trouble um, receiving a blessing, but that is um, turning around, okay? The universe is telling you that things are going to be turning around for you. Why? Because justice libra okay so justice 
can mean a couple different things. It can mean that the universe is bringing justice to a situation that, um, that you ask the universe, like, this isn't fair. Why is this happening to me? This could be an actual legal um, decision, or this could be um, the person asking for somebody to get what they deserve. Now, what I feel like is that you've already paid your tax in regards to negative energy with this King of Wands, I mean, this Knight of Wands. And now the universe is rewarding you by bringing in a new person at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles again, okay? So let's get some love messages, Spirit. Can you show me what Aquarius's person is feeling but not saying, Spirit? Aquarius's person, what are they feeling but not saying? What is Aquarius's person feeling but not saying, Spirit? Anything else? Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. So they feel that you guys belong together. I have something to say, but please allow me to say it. So they probably want to tell you about this moon energy. I, I told you there might be things that are unknown or maybe they feel like they're unknown. So maybe they want to talk about that. This is not what I want. We are heading in the wrong to a wrong outcome. We both have to change. So they feel like you both have to clear away this two of pentacles energy so that that way you guys would have a clean start. This also can be your past person saying this. Yes, this is not what I want. We're heading in the wrong outcome. We both have to change. So this other person is used to you um, being there whenever they... Uh, whenever they move away energetically with this Knight of Wands in and out energy, right? So they are not used to you uh, going off and doing your own thing. And this is making them nervous. Spirit, can you show me what Aquarius feels for their partner, Spirit? What does Aquarius feel for their partner, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Aquarius feel for their partner, Spirit? So uh, you feel like this new connection is a past life relationship. You want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, though, about all these um, ex-relationships, okay? Uh, letting go of control issues, okay? But you're paying attention to the red flags because this person's um, situation with their ex is complicated, okay? You feel like there might be some codependency there between them and their ex, but you're staying optimistic because you feel this could be the one, Spirit, what is Aquarius's partner feeling for them, Spirit? What is Aquarius's partner feeling for them? What is Aquarius's partner feeling for them? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is Aquarius's partner feeling? So they're trying to let go of control issues. They're trying to go to their friends for help. They want to give this relationship a chance, but they have children with this other person, okay? And they're trying to stay optimistic about you guys' love life. They want to express their loves. They're trying to make the effort. They want to retreat with you. They, too, are paying attention to the red flags. They, too, feel there might be some codependency on your side with your ex, okay? Spirit. What actions will Aquarius be taking towards their partner spirit? So um, you have the deception card and I feel like this is that you don't really want to talk to them about this prior person. You think that it will complicate stuff, okay? Or that it would ruin your chances with this person. You're trying to love yourself first. You know that there's chemistry here and you feel like this person could be your true love and you are flirting with them at this time. Spirit. What uh, actions will Aquarius's person take, Spirit? What actions will Aquarius's person take? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What actions will Aquarius's person take? So they have passion for you, strong attraction here. They're trying to keep it playful. They're calling in their soulmate because they feel that you are their soul soulmate. They feel there's a lot of chemistry here. It's true love. They want to retreat with you, like I already said. They want to express their love. They are trying to flirt with you, okay? But they have to um, figure out how to close out this situation because they could have been married to this person, okay? 
And that could be that justice, like they might be waiting for a finalization of a divorce. Spirit, what is the outcome of this situation, Spirit? What is the outcome of this situation for my Aquarius gang? So you're going to release your ex because you feel this person could be the one. Um, they are in separation or you are trying to finalize some type of divorce or freeing yourself. But there's a new love card. Why? Because you're going to free yourself, okay? You want to heal those family issues and they do too. They want a new beginning, keeping an open mind, romantic feelings, okay? There could be some religious factors here, meaning age, race, religion, or upbringing, okay? But it looks like you guys are going to do the work so that you guys can have an opportunity to be together. Can we get some advice from Spirit from my Aquarius gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for uh, July 15th to the end of the month, Spirit? Yep, and see, your ex is going to return, Okay. But he's going to return or she's going to return just as you're trying to solidify this other relationship. Okay? So, um, you know, that's what I have for you guys. Pay attention um, so that you can see what's really going on. Because like I said, that there's some moon energy going on here. Okay? So, I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. And also, if this is your first time watching, thank you for spending time with me. And if I resonated with you as a reader, please like, subscribe, and comment, as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.